Hey everyone, here is the uh, Panasonic RF888, little AM-FM public service band uh, radio I picked up. It's got some of the key features, let's see here. It has a built-in squelch, which is nice. Uh, you don't have to listen to the static and it makes tuning a little bit easier. Uh, it also has a built-in timer. So you set that if you're, I don't know, listening to music when you're sleeping and your batteries won't run dead. Um, automatic frequency control, uh, mic ins, record outs, rhythm in, record out. I'm really not sure what the original uh, purpose of this radio was because it doesn't have a tape deck and you can't record. So I don't see why you would need any recording options. Uh, it runs off regular 120. It also has a 6 volt DC down here and it runs on just 4D batteries. Um, which for something that's got such a huge sound, uh, it's hard enough to believe it's only coming out of one speaker. But then to think that it's only 4D batteries, I'm pretty impressed by it. Uh, the only thing really that's wrong with it is the very, very tip of that antenna that's broken off. But the radio still works fine. Um, if I can get my iPod to work. Oh, <laughs> paused. And granted, I know it's, you know, you're only hearing the quality of your speakers, but trust me, it's loud. <laughs> it's very loud. And it has this cool, like, scrolling style. Um, tuner. I've, I've taken it apart and there's actually two scrolls that like wind up on either side. Uh, but so the VU meter also serves as, you hit this button, which is the backlight. Uh, also as a battery check. Also it shows your signal strength. So. Anyway. That is the RF888 by Panasonic. I think it's from the late 70s or uh, early 80s, something like that. Cool little radio. Alright, thanks for watching.